Habiba Al-Marashi, you're the chairperson of the Emirates Environmental Group. Um, what is your involvement with the real estate? Um, Emirates Environmental Group is an NGO um, advocating for environmental protection and sustainability issues for over 18 years in the country. Um, so it's our business to be engaged with all the stakeholders and uh, cityscape and the real estate industry is one very important segment of, of uh, the players on the ground. So definitely um, uh, we, would, we engage with them on a daily basis. In the, uh, eight, over the 18 years, has there been increasing awareness on the part of, uh, of uh, developers, uh, say, uh, about the importance of the uh, environment? I would say, you know, the whole real estate uh, and the construction industry era is a relatively newcomer uh, on this uh, platform. Um, we have had more um, support or more feedback or more interaction with uh, the other uh, uh, segments in the service sectors. and But I am not disappointed uh, with their performance or with, their, with the results that we are seeing particularly with the big contracting companies. They are definitely looking at the impact that they are having on the environment um, from waste management to the energy consumption to the water consumption uh, to dealing with their uh, construction waste. Um, so these are a lot of questions, raising a lot of questions, doing a lot of research, trying to see what can they do, how can they do it so that they reduce their impact on, on the environment. Um, I'm one of the founders of the Emirates Green Building Council, so I am involved on the other side as well to see, um, uh, to, to be involved in the bigger picture from the educational perspective of it, um, trying to incorporate elements of uh, um, green buildings into the curricula, into the universities, the relevant universities, at the same time um, uh, to be to see that it's been implemented by uh, the, the organizations on the ground. And uh, I think nobody can deny that in the last three years, the UAE has witnessed uh, an awakening uh, called really a very, very deep interest in, uh, in having the buildings and the developments classified as sustainable and green. And, uh, and trying to get um, the accreditations or ratings from international um, recognized rating bodies. And that's why you find, I think, this is the the biggest um, or the, the most number of buildings that are um, trying to vie for um, getting the rating is from the region, from particularly from the UAE. So definitely the interest is there the, and the commitment is there. And uh, we hope to see that this not um, to be a, a numbers that we can count. We hope that this should be the normal norm and we hope that this should be uh, the way forward. It should not be a trend that starts and, and then, you know, uh, just uh, die, yeah. Yeah, with, you know, uh, dies off. I, I hope not. Are you satisfied with the uh, reactions of young Emiratis, of, of today's uh, students, say in high school and then in university, to, to all of this? Um, am I satisfied with youth, period? Okay, because UAE population only consist 10% or 15% of this country. Yes, so if I'm looking at my country, then I'm looking at 202 nationalities that are living here. Am I satisfied with the progress that is made by the uh, student community? I must say that um, all the results uh, are positive for us. We have engaged education institutions at different levels for many years now. We have structured educational projects that we are implementing every year on regular basis from 2001 and we have seen tremendous growth and interest in the education institution at different levels with uh, our call for environmental protection and we have gone deeper and deeper with the students in the environmental education one of the topics that we have put on the table in 2009 is uh, from green education to green jobs and in a low carbon economy so this is a new topic on the global scene let alone for this region yet uh, the teachers did very well in it and the students are very uh, uh, interested and um, are looking. So this is how we challenge and we encourage the critical thinking and the action and we are opening up uh, the, the um, uh, prospects for them to uh, encourage them to research. 
this will be one of the most important ways of engaging the future generation. Um, the educational component of it, the interactive uh, part of it, um, you have to come out of the traditional ways of engaging them. We have to be very innovative in how we get their attention. And not only their attention, you want their commitment, you want the action on the ground, you want the change of the mindset, you want the change of behavior and all that. And it does not come overnight. Um, so yes, I am very satisfied with the results that I'm seeing. Um, we still face some challenges on the university levels. But then it's not because the students do not want to be involved, maybe because the, the faculty, because the setup itself does not encourage, has not provided the time and, and the means for, for the students to be uh, actively engaged in that. But we hope to see, and we are starting to see uh, the difference. For example, the Cityscape um, event, um, I think they introduced an, this award, which is called the Architectural Award last mm -hmm. year, and Se Young Award. And one of the categories that was introduced new this year, the upcoming young architects. And um, it was very, it's, it's not only open for the UAE, it's open for all, everybody sure. around the world. But it was very um, uh, satisfying, really, to see four students from the one university in UAE all get the, uh, an award um, because of their sustainability designs. So yes, um, we can always do better. But we are doing well.